there were two dramatic points while I was in the hospital. The first was when Teresa and Dave, who are past, who are uh, ministers at Bethel Atlanta, um, where I and my sister attend church, came to um, pray with me. I had told Christy that I wanted uh, the people from Bethel to come and pray for me in, mm-hmm. in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And um, when they came, I said, oh my God, I see the fire in them. I see the fire in their eyes. Mm-hmm. I see I see that anointing. I said, these are, these are prophets. God has sent. And the things that Dave spoke to me about life and living life with things that God had already spoken to me about. And I really felt that this situation that I was going through, that after this healing comes, that I would be living life the way God intended for me to live. Meaning being really free of um, spiritual attacks or that pursuit of the enemy to really slow you down and to keep you from really getting to that ultimate goal where God wants you to be helping people or in my life that that was my assignment mm-hmm. and so um, during that time of ministry to me and prayer there was another point where Dave stretched out his hand to me as I was laying in the bed and the anointing left his hand mm-hmm. his arm and hit me. He was not touching me. It hit me in my body, just jolted, because he said, Live. And I said, Yes. Yes. You know, so that was a very big moment for me there in the hospital. And it was also confirmation for me. 